viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ito pa rin po ang inyong kaibigan at kakampi na si Sir Leo Angeles na nagsasabing good news dahil ang ating mahal na secretary, Secretary Lenore Magtolis Briones, secretary ng Department of Education ay nagsagawa ng kanyang press briefing upang i-anunso ang pagpapaliban ng klase ngayong Augusto 24, 2020. There is great importance to the entire country, particularly our learners, their parents, our teachers, and uh, all the citizens of the Philippines. Uh, this is my statement. This morning, we received a memorandum from the office of the president that the president has already made the decision in respect to the recommendation that I submitted to him last August 6. Last August 6, I submitted to him a policy analysis of the implications of the imposition of modified enhanced community quarantine or MACQ in Metro Manila and in the provinces of Cavite, Bulacan, Laguna and Rizal. The combined learner population of these uh, two regions uh, are very uh, significant uh, in terms of the entirety of our learner population. Napakalaking grupong learners ito. As per the memorandum of the president, he has given approval to the recommendation of DepEd, which I repeat, we submitted last August 8th. Thus, we will now implement such a decision to defer school opening to October 5, pursuant to Republic Act number 11480. It will be recalled that the law specifically states that the president can uh, decide on the opening of school uh, classes upon the recommendation of the Secretary of the Department of Education. Thus, we are going to use this deferment, which the president has decided upon, to provide relief to the logistical limitations faced by the areas placed under the MECQ. It's very large areas, and as I said, involves millions of learners. Region 4A alone has more than 4 million learners, and NCR has more than 2 million learners as well as the other provinces have very significant learner populations as well. So um, we want to fill in the remaining gaps of the school opening by uh, providing relief because of the logistical limitations, limitations to movement of teachers uh, and also of our staff and possibly of um, other individuals who are involved in the process of education. Kaya, um, we recommended October 5 in recognition of the need to make these adjustments. Areas outside MECQ are directed by DepEd to continue their orientations, their dry runs. We already have conducted more than 500 dry runs and the delivery of learning resources so that we will be ready for the opening of classes on October 5. Once more, we'd like to emphasize that when we open classes, there will be no face-to-face -face sessions. And sessions will not be limited to online sessions alone. This is because we have adopted a policy of blended learning, wherein various modalities are being recommended depending on the situation at the level of the region and of the school. Thus, we are now uh, finalizing arrangements for television programs, radio programs, and also our much favored uh, modular systems and printed material, plus, of course, uh, many other uh, modalities. So it's not limited to online because we know also that there are limitations to online as mentioned by the president in his State of the Nation address. We trust in the DepEd that this is the final adjustment of the school opening. 
even with the implementation of MECQ, we will use this time to make the necessary adjustments and ensure that all preparations have been made for the successful opening of classes for school year 2020 and 2021. We would like to express our gratitude for the constant and ready support of no less than the president himself to the cost of education of the offices under the office of the president, particularly of the executive secretary, of the support of the Senate, the chairs of the various committees involving um, education, including also our own uh, Senator uh, Bongo, who has supported us all the way. So uh, we have hope, as I said, that this will be the final adjustment for the school opening and we look forward to a much better, much, uh, much more uh, prepared um, opening of classes. There will be, uh, of course, um, there are also implications, but we are confident that we can uh, overcome this with a constant, as I said, never-ending and general support of the president, including as well the Secretary of Finance and the Secretary of Budget and Management, as well as all of those the international community, civil society organizations, experts in education who have contributed to the formulation of our learning continuity program and have given much precious and useful advice to us so that education can continue COVID or no COVID, tragedy or no tragedy, disaster or no disaster. The children are asking to go back to school and we will listen to them. Thank you very much. Guys, natupad din ang mga prayers at mga panalangin ng lahat ng mga kaguruan, mga punong guro sa buong Pilipinas sapagkat sa wakas ipagpapaliban ang klase ngayong Agosto 24. For sure, hindi lang mga guro, hindi lang mga punong guro. Siyempre, pati ang mga magulang at siyempre, pati ang mga estudyante ngayon ay natutuwa dahil postpone ang ating pasukan ngayong August 24. So guys, naniniwala tayong lahat na ang, pang ang postponement ng ating pasukan ngayong August 24 Ito ay isang malaking indikasyon na medyo hindi pa gaanong planchado sa buong Pilipinas ang pagbukas ng school year 2020-2021. At alam naman natin, particularly sa Metro Manila, alam naman natin na dito sa Metro Manila at ilang karatig uh, lugar sa NCR ay muling binalik. Tinatawag nating modified enhanced community, community quarantine. Kaya nag uh, kaya nakaapekto ang paghahanda ng mga paaralan sa pagbubukas ng klase supposedly ngayong August 24. At for sure, dahil tayo ay nagkaroon ng pagpapaliban ang klase siguradong sa October 5 ay tiyak na tiyak na na ang namatuli na ang pasukan sapagkat meron pa tayong dalawang buwan um, pagitan o paghahanda upang maihanda at matiya na magiging ligtas, payapa ang pagbubukas ng klase dito sa buong Pilipinas. Kaya guys, lahat tayo ay magsaya sapagkat ito ay isang bagay na dapat nating i-celebrate. So yeah!